What's up gangsters? Welcome back to the channel. Big up yourselves, big up the new subscribers. And if you haven't pressed subscribe, please consider busting that button. Because we need you in the army, yeah? So in today's video, we're doing some messing, which is a treat for you, yeah? No elect, well, a little bit of electrics, but not much. So today I am jack of all trades. Ta-da! Yeah, I'll get the stuff in and crack on. But first, run that thing! So we've got the stuff in. I only need a few bits to be fair. I will have to go and get the drill in a minute. The drill. <laughs> Wait till you see what we've got to do. So we've got a list. I'm working at my mum's house. And apparently... She can't get me to do nothing. So she has to write a list for Ian, who's, yeah, that's me. <laughs> so we've got, put the Christmas decorations up the loft. You don't need to see that. Um, reset Fitbit, done that, you don't need to see that. Door locks replaced. So that is gonna be first on the list. So we're gonna be changing this lock and this lock. And as we know from the studio videos, I can do that. And this is how we do it. So we're gonna put the key in, and then this here holds the lock in place. So we'll give that an unscrew. Whip that out. Turn the key slightly to the one side-ish, and it should release, he says. There we go. And that's it. Take that with me, or measure it to the centre pin there, because this like, this one looks like it's gonna be 60, 40, something like that. But I'll take it with me anyway, because she's gonna be in all day. So yeah, there's one. And then the front one, because of the thumb grip, near enough the same, so we've still got the screw holding it in there, but I've took it out from the inside, so I've me taking the thumb grip off. So I just turn that slightly to the side, give it a pull, bosh. Changing these locks just because this one's gonna be a bit crappy, so swap this one. And I thought while we're doing it, we'll swap the back one, because these aren't anti-snap. And as we know, they get in in seconds without anti-snap. So I'm gonna to go to the lock place now, get those two locks picked up, get them changed. A few moments later. I'm back from the locksmith's place and I've got the new locks. So these are anti-snap Ultian locks. Look how thick the key is. The guitar, if I can get it out, I've put it in now. Mint. So yeah, these are anti-snap locks. And if you register the key, if someone snaps it and breaks in, two grand, nice, but you have to register them. So we're gonna get these in, it's exactly the same process as taking them out. They'll go in and then the little screw slides through the side of the door and into here. Just to let you know as well, any potential customers watching, I've got to my mom's this morning, half past eight, bacon sandwich and a coffee, so that's the benchmark now. So if you ring us for a job, that would be nice. So it's literally the same process. We're gonna slide the new lock into there and then put the little lock and screw into there. It's gonna be hard to do one-handed, but I'll show it you when it's done in a sec. And it's as easy as that. Bish, bash, bosh. Screws in, lock's changed. Nice, just need registering now. Onto the back, again, same process. Get that fired in. Another one done. Mint. We've got a little helper to help us with the rest of the jobs. It's a stormtrooper! Why? No. Why? No, it's taking away from me. Oh, he's happy chap, isn't he? Dun, dun, dun. Next on the hit list, screw behind radiator. So this is the offending radiator. If we look down there, it's come away from the wall. So we're gonna take this off, refix the brackets, get it back on. Do you I know what I'm doing? Radiator. What? I'll fix the radiator. You're gonna fix it? Yeah. Go on then. As I was saying, do I know what I'm doing? No. Are we gonna blank it? Yes! So first thing I've done, the heating is off, obviously because the water would be burning me. So we're gonna lock this side off, which is, don't know what it is, but we'll turn it off anyway. So we'll turn that one off and then turn the other one off. Then what we're gonna do is loosen off this side and the other side, get the wet back out, suck the water out and then take the rad off. 
Right, we've got the rad off. I think you can buy like little blanking caps for these, but I don't need them. Just make it a bit easier if there's a bit coming out. So that one, there's only one screw in the top, so I'm going to put another couple in as well because it moves about. This one has completely come out the wall. So what I'll do is drill another one there, there and there, put some washers and screws in, tighten it back to the wall, and then we can put the rad back on. These were really stiff to undo. So what I had to do is, look at them beasts. Found them in the shed. Hold the valve. Obviously we didn't want to bend the pipe or bend any of the fittings. So hold the valve and then loosen it off with the other set of grips, which worked nice. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go and get the drill now, get this fixed, get this fixed, and then we can get the rad back on, top the system back up, turn this on, and then bleed the radiator, and we should be good to go. So I've tightened these up with the grips now either side, check that there's no leaks, there's not. I'm now going to bleed the radiator, get some air out and top the system up. So I've got the radiator key, I'm just going to loosen it off. As you can hear, if you can hear, there's air coming out of there. So what we'll do, empty all the air out, top the boiler up, come back, do it again, top the boiler up and then just go around and check the rest while I'm here. Uh, sorry if you can hear the hoover, I've just left it on to dry it out a bit because it's a bit wet. So we've had a wall your ear, wall your ear Jack and we've changed the lock in the conservatory as well. I'll tell you what, I'm a locksmith, but that is how easy it is to change the locks on your house. So you might as well do it. You might as well get those anti-snap locks and get them on because it literally takes seconds for burglars to get into your house and that can prevent it. They were 55 quid each, which isn't bad. Uh, if you got someone to fit it, it'd probably be about 100, 150 quid each. So yeah, saved us some money and made her a lot safer. So the last few bits on Ian's list. Put the decorations up the loft, I'll do that in a minute. Board wall in conservatory. That is this wall here. So as you can see, bit of trunking down there. Can you see it? Not so me moving it. Yeah, bit of trunking down there to a dimmer. So this originally was a conservatory roof. Last year or the year before, the roof was changed. Now, this is where Ian comes into play. So one day I come up. The electrician's been wired some spotlights. Why didn't you ring me? Oh, I didn't want to bother you. It all come as a package. So he ended it, the electrician. Never had a look, don't know what lights he's used, but it works, it's nice. So the plan is, eventually, we're gonna put some capping down the wall or whatever with that um, light switch, put a back box on, and that wall is gonna be plastered, but we don't need to do it yet. Ollie, that's a job for you, if you're watching. She wants that doing. And then we've got sort garden light wires. So if you've seen the video, if you haven't, I'm sure I did a video here, I'll put the link up here somewhere, you can check it out. But basically there's an armoured that runs up, round, it goes to there, over to here, and then down to here to feed some spike lights, I'll show you. So when me and Scott did it, these were all bushes, but they've just been cut down. So if you can see, our armoured is now just trailing across the top. So it just needs burying in a bit really. I can pull some slack here. Where it goes around, there's a little loop there, if you can see that. So I'll pull that back and just get it buried into there. But it's absolutely freezing, so that's definitely a job for actual Ian. <laughs> the only probably working at people's houses. You have to tidy up, look at that. You wouldn't even tell I've been. I just left that there because there was a bit of water dripping down from where I bled it. So I've bled them all now, they're all on. They're all mint and it's nice and secure on the wall. So all in all, a very, very random video, but it's just to show you what we can do. We can do anything if we put our mind to it, apart from boarding that wall. That's not happening. That's an ollie job. So yeah, we're now locksmiths, plumbers, and electricians. Yeah, don't be scared to have a go at something yourself. Do it on your own house or your mum's house. If you break something, you can fix it. If you do it in a customer's house and break something, it's a bit of bother. But yeah, we dare you. 
I've got the Christmas decorations to put up the loft. Big up yourselves. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment. Let me know what you think. If I did something wrong on the plumbing or the locksmith, don't tell me. It works. Get in there. See you later. Ta-ra.